Welcome back to the channel, everybody, or welcome to the channel. If your first time here, hit that thing. Uh, this is a non-spoiler review for The Iron Claw. Now, this is a movie directed by Sean Durkin. It stars Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White, uh, Lily James, among others. Great cast here, and it is about the Von Erich family. The Von Erichs were a very legendary family in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, they had a lot of ties to ultimately the same way that the Kennedys do to politics in the positives and tragedy wise, the same way that the Kennedys do, the Von Erichs did, and in in more ways than one, unfortunately. And the, man, the Von Erichs, it's tough to even talk about this movie because this movie really hit home for me. As I mentioned in my out of the theater reaction, um, I lost a brother few years back and it never really leaves you it's the worst club in the world to be a part of and you can feel it inside of this movie now it's the again the story is that fritz von eric it, it, it was a, a wrestler in like the 50s and the 60s who taught his boys how to become part of the re wrestling business and he re and inside of texas they kind of owned the whole thing and this was before the WWE back then, again, the WWF um, took over. The way that it worked was that there were territories inside of um, diff different parts of the country, and each territory had television rights and things of that nature before the WWE kind of mo monopolized it. And the Von Erichs were part of a federation back then that were they owned Texas. I mean, they really did, and the Von Erichs were huge. And Zac Efron plays Kevin Von Erich, and he was like the star of the family, and he's trying – to get his name out there and try to become the guy and to appease his father and everything too. And then Jeremy Allen White was, uh, plays Kerry Von Erich, which is the Von Erich that I knew. And again, because I was a WWF kid growing up that I knew of the Texas tornado and I knew of his kind of tragic story and all these things that had happened. Um, and I'm watching this movie and I'm so invested in it because of the, I mean, you really feel the, you feel the family, but you feel the, the pressure uh, that's put on by Fritz. And there's a great relationship that Zac Efron and Lily James have where she's kind of trying to understand. It. And it shows you kind of the individual that Kevin Van Erich was. And when you can hear the full story itself, you, you almost can't believe it because it's so it's it's so devastating in general. And it's not a it's obviously not a feel good movie. There are moments that you feel good in it. But overall, it's tough. It's really tough. Um, but it's. Fantastic. And this is Zach Efron's best role for sure. Jeremy Allen White, I'm a massive The Bear fan, and he plays Kerry Von Erich, and he's another one. He steals every scene that he's in. He's so good in it. The criticisms of it is that if you are a major wrestling fan, if you're not, it's not going to bother you as much. But I've talked to some friends who are, and we had the same issue. There's some wrestlers like Ric Flair. It comes off very cartoonish, and I talked to a friend of mine. Um, and he gave the comparison of like that. It was almost like when they try to portray wrestlers in the show, uh, young rock, and it just came off very kind of NBC ish. And it didn't, you didn't, it wasn't, it, it felt like someone trying to play Ric Flair then going, Whoa, that guy's Ric Flair, as opposed to what Zach Efron's doing. You're like, that's Kevin Von Eric. Like I said, I don't think it's going to bother the person who's just coming in to watch a movie. Um, and, and it didn't even really bother me that much. I looked and I went, okay, that's clearly a guy trying to be Ric Flair. People are going to ask, how's MJF? How's MJF in this movie? He's in it for like two seconds because he's a producer on the movie. He's a producer on it. So he didn't, he doesn't try to steal any scenes. I think he plays Paul Orndorff. I think seems like it. M maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, but he produced the movie, which was great. Music's really solid. Uh, the directing is really well done. I thought overall. And there is just this – look, the one thing that people are going to have a criticism on if you know the story well is they cut one of the brothers out. And I didn't really like the answer for why they did. It's like, well, if we if we, if we we didn't, the movie would have been longer. It's like, yeah, but the guy is it's part of the family. You don't even mention him. So that's a, that was a bigger – that, that was more of a criticism for me because, again, I know the story. And I was like, wait, you're missing one of the brothers here. Um, but the story, do they get the overall point across throughout what happens – and yeah, they really do. And like I said, Zach Efron, Jeremy Allen White are the standouts. Zach Efron really put in the work here, and you can tell. Um, I love this movie. It's one of my top movies of the year. I'm going to go 4.2 out of 5. 
thought, I mean, shoot, I can even go 4.3 out of 5. Could go up the next time and watch it. But it is, like I said, it's not, it's not a very easy watch in general. And I, I left kind of shook. If you see my out-of-the-theater reactions, it, it hit me. And I think it's supposed to. Um, and you look at the strength that Kevin Von Erich has to be able to go through the things that he did. Um, and I think that Zac Efron conveys that very well in this movie. So I highly recommend it, if you're, especially if you want to look at the Oscar movies. I, think, I, I know that a lot of the buzz, um, Zac Efron's not getting, I don't think he's getting the buzz that he should be for this role. Uh, I think he should. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't pay too much attention to the Golden Globes nominations, but I don't think he got nominated, but he should. And I think there are some people that m when you see this movie, you'll agree with me. But are you looking forward to this movie? Did you follow the story of the Von Erichs, and do you care to see it? Um, please let me know. I want to know. And a lot of times these sports movies that people aren't even into, whether it's wrestling or, or boxing or baseball or football, whatever it is, sports movies – can get you whether you follow the sports or not. So I think this will hit home whether you're a wrestling fan or not. I know it will hit home whether you're a wrestling fan or not. You're, it's, it's about family. It really is about family. It's about pressure. It's about appeasing people. It's, it, it's, it's got a lot. So I'm very curious to hear what you think. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and tell me, please. And as I said, right there, hit that thing, scrolling around up there. Subscribe to the channel. It is... The, almost the end of the year. We're almost there. And we're getting very close to 200,000 subscribers. You're like, wait a minute, you have 110. Yeah, but we hit 100 pretty fast. And I'm hoping to hit the 200 even faster. So if you can help us, that would be amazing. And what a Christmas gift it would be. So thanks for joining us here today. Appreciate it. We'll be, uh, we'll be around all week. All right. See you later.